We have another new Conquest map to talk about today, the future of the franchise central map. And of course, we got all the hidden rewards, but be sure to do this. Get your 30k XP towards the future program so you can start earning some of these really good 95 overall cards. We got the west, we got the central, so you know the next one's going to be the east. Expect that within the next week or so. But here are the hidden rewards for this map. There's three show packs. Top corner, there's a ball and is a habit pack. You can earn two headliner set one packs from being the tiger stronghold 350 stubs like what the hell even is this why even put that in there a headliner set 11 pack and then a headliner set five pack which is the really good 25k choice pack so i think overall the rewards in this are actually pretty good especially since you do get that choice pack and then there's a lot of premium packs headliners boneless habits etc you just gotta play games versus the cpu definitely not the most fun but if you do decide to do it and play the cpu games you might as well finish it off because you do get some decent rewards you get this really cool senator's jersey you get five show packs as a reward a funky groove bat skin i freaking love it you can also earn choice packs for the al and nl central and then if you complete everything you'll get a big dog set too i'm hoping eventually that they put the always intense pack in here but a few extra packs to go along with those hidden rewards i don't have everything from the map but i at least got a pretty good chunk of it. We got nine total show packs, two set one headliners, a set 11, and then the set five choice pack. I think the only thing we're missing is the big dog two pack, but either way, we're gonna start out opening up some of these show packs. Hopefully we can get a couple of decent cards in these packs, but I never hold my breath. The big one is going to be the 25K pack. But no, my like, like last time in the West version of it, I ended up getting a gold in that pack. So I'm just hoping it's not that again. I'll take any diamond at that point. Oh, we get a gold. Teoscar Hernandez. He's actually been kind of slumping, so he could go silver soon. Final two packs. Let me know what you think of the hidden rewards for this pack. Is it worth it? You get 30k. You got all these packs. A good chance at getting a diamond as we don't pull anything out of these show packs. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts. Now we're moving on. We got two set one headliners. This one has Spencer Torkelson as the headliner. See if we can get some decent out of this. We start out with a gold something or another. We pull a silver Nikki Lopez. I don't think it can get much worse than that. We got one more to redeem ourselves here. Hopefully we get a diamond. No, we pulled two silvers. Wow. And they go for nothing as well. We probably made a combined 600 stubs on a total of 15k worth of packs. Set 11 headliners up next. This one has Carlos Carrasco. Not the best card, but overall I'll take it. I mean shit, just sell it. We pulled two silvers. No way I get a third, right? right? Holy shit, we pulled three silvers in one pack. Do not see that very often. All right, the only way to redeem this is by pulling something good out of this pack. The headliner is Eric Davis. Don said this, you have a one in three chance of getting a 90 plus, a one in three chance of an 85 plus, and a one in one of an 80 plus. So I'm hoping I just don't get golds. Oh, I was about to say like, what the hell is this? Okay, we got uniforms. Let's go, baby. We didn't get golds. We got diamonds. I'm gonna end up taking, I think Jared Weaver's the easy choice here. We got the headliner pack. We got a 94 overall Jared Weaver. So pretty good way to end right there. But that last pack I opened, that stronghold that you get that from is right here. I believe it's the Reds. So at the very least, play that one because that's a hell of a pack as a reward. One more time, here are the hidden rewards. Definitely go through, try to get as many of these done as you can. And if you at least start getting some of these rewards from playing the CPU, you might as well finish it out. Get the third. K. That's a lot in this feature program with being able to get a new pack like every 20 or 30k or so. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.